Oh, yeah. Ready to go. So hi guys, we're back to my channel today's video. We've got another video going on here, so on the Harrison's vlog channel right here. So um, if you haven't already, check up up there or up there in the cards um, to the previous videos of um, it's called painting vlogging time. Check out the cards right there of that playlist right there to check out my other paintings. So today I'm gonna do another painting, so I think this is hashtag five, um, my version of painting. So I actually don't know which um, who this paint is by. I'm going to show you right now, but um, let's go on with showing you uh, the painting and what uh, size of canvas going to use today. So, guys, if you probably haven't already seen, but in a previous video, I've already used one of these canvases. It's a 20 by 20 centimeter um, canvas, as you can see. So, it's what we're looking like right here, and then. Um, as you can see I'm at, well, outside but just like blowing around um, but I'm usually going to use some of this tracer paper today like I always do in every video and I'm going to put this tracer paper underneath this picture so this is what the picture looks like let me just put some weight on this tracer paper so it doesn't fly away so this is what the paint just the painting I'm going to be painting in today's video so this is hashtag 5 so like I said I don't know which painter this is by but it'll be um, in Taito's video or a link in the description down below. Um, Sachi Art was a website that I get all my artists from, so all my paintings from. So this is the painting that I'm going to be painting today. So pardon me. So I'm going to use this um, painting. I'm going to keep looking at it on the high plats. I'm going to show you today. Um, so yeah, I've got the tracing paper. I've got the canvas. I've got the picture. So let's start um, painting right now. So. Um, as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment as always. Turn that um, red subscribe button to a grey button. And then turn that bell icon to a, a ring. And also don't forget to check out my social media right here. Instagram, Snapchat, and all my art. Instagram, Snap, Instagram. so it's H-G-A-R underscore T. And then Harrison underscore 75 underscore Gregory. And then... I read 759 is my Snapchat, so check out my social media right here. And also, my brother's will be his YouTube and um, will be in links, link in description. Everything that I'm going to be talking about today, and all the painting is going to be link in description as always in all my videos. So, yeah, so let's get painting of this video on the hyperlapse. Let's start with that.
Okay guys, that's pretty much does it for day one today of this painting. So first of all, before I show you the painting, I'm going to show you all the paint and all the grey parts of the mixed paint. First of all today, before I show you the painting, like I said, and the pitch and also the tracing paper and stuff. So let me show you that right now. I've just seen all the paint, so I'll use four today, blue, orchid yellow, pink, and blue the colour, but anyway, let me show you first of all the picture, so I'm starting with this, so I just saw um, I cut out the tracing paper and then I put this onto the uh, wall, well first of all I put um, white on the canvas to let it dry, and then while that was drying I put this onto the glass, the window, and then I put the tracing paper right here onto it. As you can see, so this is the tracing paper. So, so I trace that for both sides as always. So this front bit and the back bit. And then I traced it onto the painting right here, onto the canvas right here to get that indentation of that of the tracing so let me show you what it's looking like in three two one so we haven't got a whole lot of colour obviously it's only day one so should take at least about um about third day because one of the paints that I did that was this size 20 by 20 it took about three days but it's got a bit more detail might take a bit longer maybe three and a half days I'm not sure but roughly about three days so I'm going to put it right here, or at the start of today's video, put how many days in total it's going to take. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. So we've got the woman right here. So obviously you start from light to dark, so I did it with the, the pink right here. And we've got the orchid yellow and the white, and the light blue. You know it's like, because you can see on the painting, it's like a dark, more of a dark blue. But I'll start that in day two tomorrow. So this is what I'm looking like, so you can see the progress. Of day one so and then like I said tomorrow in day two I'm going to do the dark blue and then the trees starting in the trees and then the water and etc so I quite like the painting painting so I don't know who it's by but it's got the initial yeah, um, signature right there I'm not sure um, who it's by but um, stay tuned for t uh, at the end of um, this video so in day three or day four how long this video lasts or how many days this painting takes to paint you'll see on the last day then we'll show you who um, this painting is by so yeah you'll see it um, by the end of today's video so I hope you're liking it so far so that's pretty much it for day one and let's come with uh, day two with the hyperlapse
Okay guys, that's pretty much it for day two today of this painting, so first of all, before I show you the canvas, I'm going to show you the paint and also the paint, grey paint pots or the mixed painting, so let me show you that right now. Now you've seen all the paints I've used today, so uh, there's quite a few. So I think, yeah. So obviously you've seen this picture many times before. So I'm going to show you now what day two looks like in three, two, one. So I think it's quite similar in the sky and then the sea terms. Obviously I haven't done obviously the woman yet or the darker what. So I've done like these green ones, but um, I'm only today I've done like these trees in the background there, and I've seen done the sea. Just um, now, I've seen, I've seen the high flats into the sea going up and down the waves, and then I've done this. That this took up quite a bit of the canvas, so this like creaminess kind of colour. As you can see, it's from exactly the same colour. So, you can see what I've done today. And so, I think we've done quite a lot today. So, hopefully, I can try and get um, for day three uh, finished because I've just got really um, this section. Obviously, you can see the white sections to do, and obviously, I've got more of the sky to do and more of the white. So, I can just easily just get white and dash it around and stuff. So, but hopefully, I can get day three and then. If not, day four will be the last day. And then also stay tuned for the last day, either day three or day four. I'm going to be showing you who this painting is by. Obviously, you've seen um, from the title of video who it's by, but obviously, I, I don't personally know yet. But I'm going to uh, find out, do some of my research on my phone and find who it is. But yeah, that's pretty much day two. I've done quite, I've done quite a lot today, so yeah. So. Let's go on with day three.
Alright guys, that's pretty much day three over with. So first of all, as always, let me show you the paints that we've done today that I've used today. So all the paint and also all the grey pots with all the mixed painting. So let me show you that right now. Now you've seen all the paints I've used today, quite a few today, so let me show you um, day three of what I've done today. So first I'm going to show you the canvas and I'm going to show you both of them together. So, three, two, one. So, I think we've, I've come on quite a lot from yourself, so yesterday I did all this sort of section and today I've done um, this like turquoise bluish colour and then this flowing of water down here, as you can see, and then um, I did the grey and I did this woman also and also um, as we saw from the high collapse I also did this, started this, this more war um, I got some white and did some more mottly effect on the clouds to make it more like like the clouds are moving kind of thing as you can see so so now we can compare so this one I'm talking about with the mottly effect with the clouds I think it's looking pretty much similar at the moment as you can see and then um, I don't think the orange is just yet there just yet maybe not it's kind of there but uh, maybe I'll look, a diff look different when I get the black on the bikini on the woman so I'm not sure yet but and obviously tomorrow uh, I'm going to start with the obviously the um, probably carrying on with the orange maybe maybe improving that and then um, with this like bold of black as you can see there, the bolt that. So where the white section is, I'm going to start that, and obviously you go from light to dark. So that's the last thing. So um, and improve on other areas like this, this green bolder thing. So and then that hopefully should be pretty much the end of the painting. So hopefully day four will be the last day of doing this. So should be because I can easily get this done. There's not much to do, to do now, but yeah. That's pretty much day, day three over with. I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's quite an interesting painting this time. It's more, it's less of water reflection. It's more like, um, I like the idea of like the woman underneath the water. And you've got the, the beach and the scene and the, and the forest behind, as you can see in the clouds. So I quite like this one this time. So, but yeah, I think it's looking good. So, um, that's it for day three. And so, let's go on with day four.
Okay, so that's the last day of um, this paint, so day four today, so it's taking four days this time. So the, the similar size canvas I did for another painting, so as I always check up there. Uh, I think it's like, it was day, so it was like um, hashtag three painting or two, something like that, but check it out there. But that took three days to do, so but this one's um, taken four days, so let me show you first of all, or sorry, first of all, I'm going to show you the paints that I used today and also the grey paint pots with all the mixed painting so let me show you that right now. Now you've seen all the paints I've used today, so I'm going to start off with showing you the, the trace and peps, so all the way from the start, so I'll just show you from the start of today's video, this is what I start with, so to get to this canvas point, so I started tracing it on the wall, on the cam, to put on, then put on the canvas, so both sides, I won't go into any more detail than that, so I've just showed you, as I started today's video, obviously, this is the painting. I've seen that, seen this loads of times now. But yeah, I mean, let me sh reveal to you the full product. Here we go. So, so some of the painting I've said, or at least do a bit more, but I think this is pretty much it. There's nothing really else to do, I think. From exactly the same, obviously, every painting is slightly different, but yeah, so but yeah, this is the overall comparison between the actual painting and mine. So, obviously, um, as always with these, I'm going to do a, um, a slow motion, I mean, like on this, and so, so you can see in full detail the whole of it. So, um, but yeah, now you've seen it next to each other as you can see so let me just do that right now let me show you this in detail So I just saw you just saw the painting, the slow motion. So it's a bit dark now because a bit late because I just found the what the painting's called. Off you, as you can see from the title video, you can see who the paint is by. 
and the paint used by is called um, I'll go to the top it's called The Art of Stephen Boost um, I'm not sure which way he's from um, this is his website now I'm doing a screen call but he does like lots of other paintings as you can see mainly women but let me just find my painting here we go so this is my painting as you can see it's called snorkeling on the bottom left hand corner um, yeah so I was really um, happy that I found this painting because I quite like it I like the idea of um, of her being underwater and then having the sea and having the um, like forest and the beach on top and then the clouds I like the concept, I like the idea so um, I quite like this painting as you can see so um, and it also says I'm going to go back onto it um, also says that it um, was painted on April the 2nd 2019 and the uh, size of it is 20 by 20 which this canvas is exactly the same size 20 by 20 inches so that's why it fit perfectly onto this so yeah so um, like I said the painters are called um, Stephen Booth's art.com that's the website so as you can see so um, put, I'll put a link in the description of um, where he's from and as you can see from the flag and whatever put just um, link in the description of this page so you can look at his other artworks and everything there's quite a lot of men like women that's why this has got a woman um, snorkeling but yeah um, everything will be that I've just talked about today will be in the link in the description all the paints and all the brushes that I used today so all that will be down there and comment down below if you enjoy today's video and if I should paint any of the paintings just suggest down below in the comment section or any other paints so I've been mainly painted from other Sachi arts but I found this other painter called Stephen Booth and he is called um, but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video don't forget to smash that like button 168 subscribers at the moment so we um, since lockdown <coughs> Um, we've got an extra subscribe, keep getting subscribers, so that's really good. So that means I'm progressing and making this um, YouTube channel much better now, Hamson's Vlog. So yeah, hope you're liking it. And I'll be always here soon. And um, click the notification bell as always to get my latest videos as soon as I go live. And always don't forget to check out my social media here, my art account right up here, my normal Instagram and my Snapchat. So. Yeah, we appreciate if you follow me right there because that's where all my other art is right up there. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you um, in another video very soon. So see you next one. Bye. Cheerio, guys.